2020. Joined by Senator Marsha Blackburn of the great state of Tennessee. Good morning, Senator. How are you? I am doing well. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope you had a great Father's Day in your family, and I hope everybody is is well in the Blackburn family. Everybody is doing great. We had a wonderful weekend and uh, celebrated all of the daddies in our family. Terrific. Now, Senator, I want to move to a very controversial subject, which luckily you have no um, investment in, which is the naming of our military installations. Yesterday in Virginia, I drove by Fort A.P. Hill. It had never occurred to me, because I'd never known the sign, I hadn't seen the sign, that we had a major military base named for a Confederate general. Uh, You know, we broke his oath to the Union and fought against the Union. And that Fort Hood is the same way. In fact, I have no investment whatsoever. I want to change all of these bases' names because I'm a Union man and my family was a Union family. We're from Ohio. You're a border state that stayed in the Union. What do you make of this issue? And should President Trump act and should the Republicans act to rename these military bases? We have uh, decided at the Senate Armed Services Committee that there will be a commission that will look at these over a three-year period of time. I think that one of the things we have to be careful about is not trying to erase our nation's history, but learning from our nation's history. And one of the things that we do know is many of these bases, um, they are named for these Confederate generals. And if uh, we decide and if the communities decide to rename them, I think that that is an appropriate thing to do. And, you know, Hugh, I think it is also appropriate to remember it is the Republican Party that fought against all of this with uh, the Civil War and has fought repeatedly to end oppression and has fought repeatedly to make certain that under our Constitution, equal means equal. It means everyone. You see, and by the way, I want to put up my hand for that commission. I don't know if I'm allowed to serve on it, but that means a guaranteed vote to change every base that's named for anyone who broke their oath. But... But I, I also cannot believe we tore down the statue of Ulysses Grant, that we tore down, the, not we, that, that crazy people tore down Grant. They told, tore down Unipero Serra, who's a, a, a Catholic saint. There is kind of a craziness in the streets, but I do believe this, this issue of Confederate generals. I, I mean, I just, I don't care if they were the best general in the world for the Confederacy. They were still fighting to destroy our country. They they were. Uh, many of these are, these statues are uh, people that were connected, their generals that were connected to the Democrat Party. And there again, I think putting together a commission, spending a three-year period of time reviewing this, uh, letting all voices be heard on this. I think this is the appropriate thing that we should do. Now, in Tennessee, I see there's... When you talk about um, the tearing down of statutes, I think it's important, too, there, Hugh, to draw the line between peaceful protest and lawlessness. And this lawlessness that we see in the streets, this defund the police movement, That is something that needs to stop. We need our police. We need them to be properly funded. That is why we're moving forward with the Justice Act. And Tim Scott has done such a great job leading that effort. Now, I I want to stay on the basis for a second. In Tennessee, there's Arnold Air Force Base. That's named for the founder of the American Air Force. There will not be a debate about that. Uh, or there should not be a, a debate about that. He's got nothing to do with the Civil War. He served. Uh, he's one of the great pioneers of aviation. But I, I don't want the Republican caucus to get accused wrongly of being indifferent to the, the problem presented by naming anything for Confederate generals. Uh, it, there's a, uh, a big difference between Thomas Jefferson and George Washington, slave owners though they were, and people who took up arms against the United States. Have you heard anyone defend in the caucus the idea of leaving these names alone? Because I'm afraid that that is taking root as a talking point on the left, and I do not believe that that point of view is shared in the caucus. Uh, 
uh, that would be an no no one has has done that and i think the important thing to realize is i understand where many uh on uh the left come from they would like to remove um this and i appreciate when i talk to my friends from communities of color and they talk about things that are hurtful i listen to what they say and you i've got to tell you i think that having a commission having a time for all voices to be heard putting this up for review realizing that these were individuals who decided they were going to fight against the union and you read of the struggles of president lincoln during this time and how he worked to unite people and to hold the union together. And you go back and you review that history and then you bring all of that forward and you look at how Lincoln put the Republican Party on this path to fighting oppression and fighting for equality. And, you know, 1920 with women getting the right to vote, then moving to the 60s with the Civil Rights Act, and you see that consistency of purpose of bringing equality for all Americans and realizing that we are a nation of laws, we abide by the rule of law, you want equal application of the law, and when you want to petition your government and seek a redress, there is a method for doing that. And I so, really uh, But Senator, because we're, we're low on time, should it take three years to, to strip the name AP Hill and Fort Hood? I, 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 should, I think it should take three days. I actually have never considered that it's not a hard question. And I'm afraid that people will hear commission three years and they'll say we don't care, we being Republicans, when in fact the Republicans fought the war. I mean, that, they're the ones that saved the union. They don't want these people to have bases named for them. Why does it have to take three years? The, the consensus of the committee after working on the legislation, it was Senator Warren's legislation, was in order to, do, to make the list, do the review, uh, that it would take them three years to work through this process. So that is that is how they settled on working it through a three year process. And I think that's the appropriate time. You know, I, I, I'm going to lodge my disagreement, maybe you take it back to the caucus. I think we ought to move much more quickly <laughs> uh, yeah, it, 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 by Elizabeth Warren. You mean it's her bill? Uh, she's the one that had the amendment during our SAS hearing. And so the way she worked with the chairman, the resolution was that it would work out over a three-year period of time. Now, if it were you or I, the names wouldn't have been there in the first place. And uh, there was, back during the time that these bases were named, I'm sure there will be research going back to see who was the congressman or who was the senator who suggested or recommended the naming of this base for this individual. And I am sure that much of that research on these military installations will be done. And I think it's going to provide interesting insight into the, the history. Of our it will, but, but, but just so we're clear, I, I do not think there is a case to be made, and I do not believe at the end of this commission, one military installation will be named for a Confederate general. And I hope that's where it comes out. Is that where you hope it comes out? Senator, last I, minute, I want to give it to you. I, I, I would hope that uh, we would come to a position where we can agree that those who fought against this nation would not be memorialized or glorified in some way. That is, you see, uh, I, I, Republicans need to get their messaging on this because we're getting hammered, and it's just not true. We don't, we're the party of Lincoln. We saved the union. It makes me crazy. Senator, always good yeah. to talk to you. Thank you for joining Thank me. You. Have a great week. Keep coming back.